During my travels, I've come across several legendary Pokemon, you know. Hey, that Jaws of yours looks pretty strong. Wanna trade it for my- This can't be real, right? Meowto. Take care of my Mewtwo <laughs> while I'm out of here. I told you he was a hooligan. You did. You did try to warn me. Now I'm kind of debating. Should we explore the Sevi Islands or just head back to Viridian City and take on the gym leader? Oh my god, everything costs heart scales here, dude. And I just literally gave one away for a nugget. Why? I mean, there's gotta be heart scales around this area then. Yo, okay. Not quite a heart scale, but we got uh, Sandy Ghast, which, you know, that's pretty unique. I just remembered though, I wanted to catch the other legendary birds. So that's, that's definitely what we're gonna do. Um, yeah, I think I'll just keep the default sprite for that one. I don't like whenever they have the shinies or regional forms because I feel like it, it would just confuse me. Oh, well, there's one heart scale already. So yeah, I'm guessing there's more around this beach, but uh, I'm gonna fly back to Kanto and we're gonna try to catch the other legendary birds. Starting with Articuno, because I feel like it's more annoying. Like the Seafoam Islands are way more annoying to get through than the power plant. So yeah, let's do that. And also tear down all the sand castles. Oh my God, it's another one. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious. What happens if we fuse Sandy Gas with Sandy Gas? <laughs> what, what is this? It's Palo Sand without the hat. It just has two popsicle sticks. Well, shovels. You know what I mean. Oh, there's two different versions of it. How come it loses one of its shovels? That's sad. All right. Well, Palo Sand and Palo Sand. Yo, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> I wonder how big it is. Like, I don't think they give you height or anything. I imagine this thing being like towering above the trainer. And we're already going to get one of the evolutions. Oh gosh, I hope this is a custom sprite. It kind of looks like it isn't though. Oh, it is. Yo. We got Grodile. That's pretty cool. The big gecko Pokemon. Nice. Yeah, that is really cute. I mean, what kind of sucks is sometimes these really cute fusions, like, the more you evolve them, obviously they become less cute. Like, I feel like this is not going to be nearly as cute now. It's going to go more into that weird middle stage. <laughs> uh, definitely more goofy than cute now. But, hey, I mean, at least the sprite is still cool. Oh! I didn't realize there was dive in this game. Okay, well, we don't have it yet, but we made it to Seafoam Island, which is, of course, where we can find Articuno. Is this strength? Oh, nice. Yo, there's an egg there, too. Oh, frick, I messed this up, didn't I? Dang it. Ooh, the music in here, though. Well, we're going to have to interrupt it for a second, but... Yeah, we got to... Let me make sure I'm not speeding up so I don't mess this up. Push this and there we go. I love the ice cavern music. This is definitely not the original Seafoam Island music, I don't think. I think this comes from uh, Johto Ice Cave. And it's a remix of it, but yeah, I just, I love that theme specifically. Oh, this is what the ice pick is for. Okay. I hate ice puzzles, man. I don't know why I find them oddly satisfying and almost like kind of therapeutic like when you figure it out you know you, you feel accomplished and that in itself can be kind of like I, I guess satisfying I don't know <laughs> I don't mind them uh, but we get a dawnstone for that not bad you know what I'm not gonna spray repel just so we can see what's in here as we pick our way down and... Okay, looks like that's the exit. And we got Shelder! Okay, it's not that exciting. I was hoping for something cooler. 
even though if there's no Johto Pokemon, like there's not really that many good ice types in Gen 1. Like what, Dugong? Jinx? Not really fan favorites. And even Gen 2, like, I mean, Swinub is really the only cool one I can think of. I I'm holding out hope there might be uh, a good ice Pokemon in here. We'll see. We haven't seen anything good so far, but you never know. I saw you guys were still talking about Cartoon Network, though. So your common question for today, what is your favorite Cartoon Network show? Or what was your favorite growing up or still is your favorite now? I heard someone in the background say, If it's Cartoon Network, Steven Universe, or it's Toonami, Sailor Moon. Kern said, Steven Universe or Sailor Moon if Toonami counts. Which I don't know actually, should Toonami count? Because a lot of the shows on Toonami are not originally made for Cartoon Network or by. Without Toonami, I think my favorite, and this is going to be maybe a hot take or maybe just a weird pick, but I might have to go with Ben 10. Just because I had the most like, I don't know, I feel like it changed my life the most. Like I would draw Ben 10 fan art so much growing up, it's crazy. I had all the toys. All the cards, I think they, well, actually the toys came with little cards. And I don't know, I just love the concept of it. And I wish, oh, we have Swinub, nice. See, I knew, I knew Swinub was somewhere in here. I didn't want to give up hope because Mammo Swine is dope. But yeah, Ben 10, like, it was so dope. It, it's like, it's a weird pick for sure, but for me at least, I'd have to go with that or maybe Teen Titans for similar reasons like Teen Titans was actually kind of like the first superhero show I really watched and it was a it was a damn good one but let us now fight this Articuno thankfully it can also be thunder waved and it's also four times weak to rock so hopefully we don't one shot it this theme though this theme goes so hard! Only problem is, uh, Signal Beam is not gonna be four times weak anymore, so maybe we go for Sunny and try to throw up a Bug Bite. Come on, don't kill it. Oh, actually, that did way less than I thought. My goodness. I think because it threw up Reflect, actually, right before we attacked. So we'll go for a couple more, and now... Oh, I don't have Raiden! I don't have Thunder Wave! Gosh dang it, man. And I forgot to Quick Ball. Oh my god. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> uh, well, it begins, guys. The struggle begins. Uh. Watch the fastball work, just like last time. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to go back and get Thunder Wave, aren't I? This is, this is not gonna work. Yep. All right. Let's reset! <laughs> Putting a little too much faith in these Ultra Balls. Oh my god, I thought that was it. <laughs> that would have been the ultimate, like... Uh, what's it called? Jinx? Caster Curse? I mean, it would have been good. We wouldn't have to sit here anymore trying to catch this thing, but nope, didn't work out. Oh! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> hey! Well, I mean... Ooh, we got some pretty cool fusions or sprites here. Which one do we want to go for? Kind of like this one. This is the, like the same thing but with a different facial expression. I think I like this one more. The Freeze Pokemon! Isn't Articuno literally called Freeze in Japanese? I know there's a thing, like, Moltres is called Fire. Like, I think Articuno's Freeze. I don't know what Zapdos is, but... I vaguely remember their names in Japanese just literally being the, the words that they are. But yo, how do we get to that Jinx? Like, this just leads back to the exit, no? Yeah, it does. So, how the frick? Avatar The Last Airbender. Yes! That has to be probably... I, I mean, look, it's not like my childhood favorite but 
as an adult, that's probably like probably the most goaded animated show to come out of America ever. I don't know if that's a hot take, really, because I feel like Avatar has enough fans to back that up. But OK, here's the jinx. Uh, maybe I save just in case. Ah! Ooh, that's a pretty cool sprite. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of Jinx. I mean, not even normally. I just, I'm not a huge fan of Jinx, period. But this sprite definitely makes her look better. And I killed it. Nice. Oh, what the frick? The, the sprite is different now. I don't think we're faster, though, so we're still gonna die. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, come on, Jaws. Really? We got another different sprite. Also, also, I don't know why I was trying to get it into red HP, because I'm pretty sure, yeah, it, it just catches first try. Like, what the frick am I doing, man? Definitely, definitely tripping. No, I picked the wrong sprite. I wanted the floating one. Oh, whatever. Let's get out of here. Uh, hopefully I have escape rope. Probably not. A few moments later. Okay, we're finally out. You know what? There is still some more trainers in this route, so we might as well just take them all out. Get all the experience we can get uh, before going to Zapdos. How has this egg not hatched yet, bro? Sounds can be heard. Okay, it's close at least. Um, so let's go. Actually, we might as well just go off to the power plant. Thank goodness there's that Pokemon Center here, too. So we can just real quick heal up. And what is this guy? Why does he look so... Never mind. I thought he was like a special NPC, but yeah, we can just swim straight over to... What? We don't even have to swim. <laughs> we could have just used the cut tree. Oh, there we go. The egg is a hatching, and it is in fact Ponyard. Now, like I said, I don't know if King Gambit is in this game. I don't think it is. Actually, I think we can just look it up. King Gambit. Nope, it's not in the game. Okay. Kind of weird that they give you a Ponyard since King Gambit's not in. But <laughs> this this sprite's kind of cool. We can definitely do another prediction for Zapdos. I'm down. We can't even Thunder Wave this one if we wanted to, so... I don't know what we're gonna do, but... What? Did we just pick up a Magnet Stone? I read that right. Right? I'm guessing that evolves, like, Magnezone and, like, Probopass. It's pretty interesting. Uh, I don't know if there's any other items around here. Doesn't look like it. So in we go! And of course, <laughs> immediately, we got Magnemite. I'm not going to spray Repel yet though, because I do want an Electabuzz or Electivire. Well, oh, Clink? What the frick? What is Clink doing here? Okay. I wonder actually if Electabuzz might be a static encounter, kind of like the Jinx was. I, I don't know, I have a feeling it is, so I'm just gonna do this. And what the heck? Oh! That's what the key that we got was for, okay. I was like, how do we open this? Ooh, the basement. Is Zapdos in the basement? I feel like it's back above, but maybe we have to go through the basement. Oh my god, these guys. <sighs> oh, really? We can't even... At least it's only level 25. Yo, I see you, Lightning Dragon, all right? I'll, I'll... Whenever we're back at the PC, then you can remind me to do Charizard Cubone, because I keep forgetting. Oh my god, come on! <laughs> I was about to say, maybe we'll at least get something interesting with the fusions, but what the f Huh? Okay. Well, we did get something interesting with the fusions, just not how I expected. <laughs> it's Ryode. 
Oh my god. I kind of like this one better. Oh, yo, what? <laughs> no, I like this one with no arms, but it has legs for some reason. <laughs> That's awesome. Love it, love it. Okay, thank goodness the incense didn't last a bit. What? Did I not just spray repel? How, how come we still ran into a whatever? Ooh, wow. Thought that was going to be a Voltorb for sure. Wait, that's the exit. Oh. Never mind. We got another one! <laughs> Definitely not as cool as the previous fusion, though. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What? It's just a gold ball! I mean... <laughs> Not nearly as cool as the Raichu one, but sure, I'll go with this. It's, it's a fastball, basically. Get this off my screen. Yes! We got Jaws evolving once again. But is it going to be for Alligator? It is, right? For Alligator's body? Yo! We got Groligator. This straight up looks like something you'd find in Florida. Like, this is the Florida Pokemon right here. If I had a nickname, I would I would put Florida for sure. Maybe Everglade, Tallahassee, Kissimmee. No, Kissimmee's not that cool. Okeechobee, I think that's a lake in Florida. That's going to be his nickname. It's no longer Jaws. <laughs> but seriously, how the frick do we get through this place? Like, is this the exit? No, what? Oh, no. Uh, okay, one of them is probably actually an item. Which means the other two can't escape, of course. Uh, okay, please. Thank goodness. What the frick are cell batteries anyway? I keep picking them up, but... Consumable, if the holder is hit by electric move, attack will raise. Okay. Now do we go left? Or right, I guess it didn't matter. Where the heck is Zapdos? Am I missing something? Oh wait, we didn't go this way. Gosh! What is that sprite? What? No! We can't escape him! Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we definitely missed something over here. So, I guess this this is this is not an item, is it? Oh wait, it is. Oh, thank God. I'm not risking it, bro. <laughs> not risking that. Uh this gate has no power. Can we put a battery in it? Okay, there we go. What? Oh, we have to put all the batteries in it. I think I'm missing one then. Oh no, I'm not. All right. What? Bro, it's fully charged. Yes, open up. But first, what is over here? Electabuzz? Another battery? <laughs> Just in case he didn't have enough already. Oh, rare candy, yes! And... There's another item, but I'm running out of repels at this point. Oh, it is Electabuzz! I don't know why or how I predicted that, but I don't know. I just had a feeling since we found Jinx down there. But we never found Magmar in Mount Ember, which is... Also interesting. I think there must have been a Magmar somewhere in the mountain, and we just didn't find it. But yeah, here's Electabuzz, so let's save just in case. Because I only have one Quick Ball left, and you can bet I'm going to try to save it for Zapdos. You have a good feeling we'll find a shiny? Ooh, give me some of that shiny look. I would love to see a shiny Zapdos. I don't know what's giving you that feeling though, but I, I would love it. Here comes the Zapdos. What? Ah, oh, finally! Zapdos! We meet! What's up with those machines behind him though? I don't know, but we're definitely gonna save. And hopefully we just get this thing with the quick ball. Like, I'm so done. 
with not catching these Pokemon. Well, actually, it hasn't even been that bad. It was just all the Voltorbs got me tired of a fight in wild Pokemon. So, come on. Quick Ball, just... Please. Please. What? There's no way. We freaking scared it into submission. <laughs> Manifested. Oh, I forgot to check out the sprites, but I mean... That's a pretty cool one. I'll take it. I don't even care, man. We freaking caught it. Oh my gosh. Can we escape rope out of here at least? Please? Oh, it works too. Yes. Finally, we catch a break. After all those Voltorbs and Electrodes, like the game decided, you need a break, man. Thank goodness. So we're going to go to Viridian. Because, you know, that's where the next gym is. But really, we're going to end off this episode by fusing some of these legendaries. We got Zapdos. We got Articuno. And we got Moltres. Nice. <laughs> and we got Jirachi. Little bonus there. Actually, I don't think that you can ever triple fuse. Because, you know, it was like a weird boss. Like, it had three HP bars. So even if we do Super Splicers, you can only do two birds at a time. Uh, but what does that mean for the types? Would it just become pure flying? Or just fire ice or, or electric ice? I mean, electric ice sounds pretty dope. Let's, let's do that first. Oh, never mind. I guess no matter what, it becomes uh, the same type. That's kind of weird. Not a big fan of that. But maybe I'll be a fan of the sprite. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Zap Kuno is looking. You know, you looking alright. I don't care. I'm I'm just I'm just here to check him all out, okay? I just wanna see all the sprites. So let's reverse it and that's not really much better. It looks like an angry bird. Oh, yo, this is kind of sick, though. What the frick? The Galarian form is way better. I wish it was, like, ice and electric, though. But, like, I guess you can't do ice electric? That's that's really lame, to be honest, that you can't do, like... I don't know, the, the, com the combination of the types. Well, let's unfuse them. And we'll try... Someone said Zapdos Jirachi. Like, actually? I want to see what that would look like. Ooh, they have a custom sprite. This one looks so cute. Wait, how is that not a custom sprite? It has like a cloud. Bro, I feel like that is custom and the game's just... No. Right? It would be green if it was. What? That is a custom sprite. It was bugged. <laughs> That's pretty cute. All right. Well, let's do Articuno and Moltres then. And once again, yeah, you can't get fire ice for some reason. What the... F th th bro. That doesn't even look that different from just Moltres. Okay, never mind. The other sprites look pretty cool this one especially I don't know what's going on with this one that almost looks like ice and electric <laughs> it's literally Moltres yeah I kind of like this one more the freeze flame Pokemon should really be fire ice type but whatever let's see the reverse And again, it's much worse. Zaprachi is definitely winning so far. It's not even two birds. It's literally like the Jirachi with the bird is, is the best one. Oh, dude. Okay. Yeah, Jirachi stays winning right now. Oh, this is awesome. Yo, <laughs> even the AI one, the face. Okay, there's one more left to do. And I think it's... Wait, which one did we not do? Zapdos and Moltres, right? 
It's not looking very promising just from the silhouettes, but you never know. You never know. <laughs> I did know. I did know. Maybe that was just a fluke. All right? Maybe. Maybe Moldos. Moldos is the chosen one. Okay, I mean, now we have to do Jirachi with, like, someone else, like Articuno. Yo, what? Come on, man. How are you? Really? Like, the Jirachi fusions are cooler? And I'm not just saying that because it's ice type. I mean, this one's actually, like... I like the concept. I love the ribbon. But that face, though. <laughs> the face is not the cutest, I gotta say. Okay, we'll do the opposite. Just for science. Wow! Jaikudo! <laughs> no. Ooh, actually, I like how it has Jirachi's, like, third eye on the belly still. That's kind of cool. But overall, I definitely like the, the previous one better. What is it? Jirachi and Moltres? The only one we haven't done? Whoa! Okay, always the Jirachi body looks cooler. So let's just start with the bird this time around. So we end it on a good note. Wait a minute, what the frick? This time the bird looks sick. What? Bro, that straight up looks like something out of another anime entirely. Like Nice of the Zodiac or something. That's freaking awesome. All right. I mean, the other one, the silhouette also looked pretty sick. Like some kind of demon wheel. Oh my god. I wanted to end the episode on a good note for once. Come on. The next stream. All right, let's try this out. Pidgeot and Articuno. One of these should still be... Oh, they're both still flying ice. Okay, and they both have custom sprites. This is sounding pretty promising. Hopefully it actually looks cool. Not bad, not bad. I definitely want to check out the opposite version, though. Um, but let's see. We can do pressure. Oh, they both have docile nature. Yeah, a little on the basic side. I, I would say it's... Mm, uh, I'll give it like a six. I mean, we still... It's pretty good. Mixed. Attack, special attack. But... I'm hoping maybe this reverse is better. The sprite definitely looks better, like the silhouette. Come on, give me something sick. Okay. I like that, actually. It looks like a Rito from Breath of the Wild or something. Pit Kuno. No other sprites, though. So this is it. What you get or what you see is what you get. I guess we'll replace Wukong since he is really not going to do great in a ground gym. I feel like we still need one more Pokemon, though. Or two. No, just one more to replace Ajalax since he's not going to do much in there either. There's also Jinx. <laughs> you know Jinx has got to make some cursed fusions, bro. This Jinx Kofagrigus, oh my god, it does have a custom sprite. Okay, we got to try this one. Let's see. This is not going to be pretty. But maybe it's at least good. <laughs> That's pretty funny. At least. Bro, we're about to take this thing into Giovanni's gym. He's just gonna surrender as soon as he sees it. Like, we're not even gonna battle. <laughs> mean look and fake tears, it's all over. Oh my god, we got... Wait, should we keep Curse? No. Okay, there we go. I was waiting for the ice move. Wait, why does it get Avalanche? And not like Ice Beam or something. What the frick? I, I don't know, man, but that's... <laughs> we're definitely bringing Jin Grigus into this gym. Now we just need to level up Jaws a little bit. Um, so I'm going to give him the Lucky Egg. We're going to do a little bit of training. Yeah, we definitely need a better move than Avalanche, bro. Not only does it have that negative priority, which I actually forgot about, so thank you for reminding me, Ashley. But it's also physical. I feel like... Jinx Kofagrigus would do better with special. 
Do I not have Ice Beam? Oh my god, come on. Where do we get Ice Beam? Oh, it's in the game corner. What the hell? Hold up. We gotta get the, the coin case first. It's in, like, the restaurant. What the frick is this? Oh! Hello? <laughs> what? Rydal? Charcute? And today's special offer, Mato, for a measly 45000 I mean, Rytel is pretty cute, but I, I need all the money I can get at this point, dude. Especially if we're going to buy Ice Beam. I kind of forgot that that existed. The black market. Apparently, there's no... What? There's supposed to be, like, a restaurant in here that you get the coin case from. But it's not here anymore. So where the frick do we get the coin case in this game? Is it too early for the restaurant? Oh, nice. Okay. They got breakfast, I guess. And the coin case! More importantly. It's you again! The fossil kid from Mount Moon! We meet again! Yo, is he gonna give us the other fossil? Okay, I'm down. I don't know what level his Pokemon are gonna be at, but... Sick! 24! Alright. Well, it won't be great experience, but holy! Okay, maybe I'm underestimating. Jaws is only 32 after all. Uh, let's go for a Leaf Blade. Oh my god, how are you not dead, bro? Come on. I'll let you have another fossil, as promised. Yo! So this is Cranidos, right? What is the armor fossil? Because Shield on is... The Shield fossil. Is armor fossil Anarith? Oh no, that is Shield on. I could have sworn Shield on is the Shield fossil. I mean, I'm gonna definitely grab Cranidos. Love me some Cranidos. That dude freaking carried me hard in Brilliant Diamond and Pearl. Huh? Okay. More battles that I didn't know existed. I'll take it. Starbuck! Come on, don't die on me, Jaws, please. Nice, nice. Don't think we want Slam. Oh, that's it? All right, whatever. We got our coin case. Now, give me the coins! Oh, wait. I gotta see the rewards first. Where the frick do you buy the rewards? Here we go. Ice Beam is 4,000 coins. Great. Uh, we can also buy Pokemon, but I'm good. Yep, time for some gambling. Gotta spend money to make money. I don't have any money, bro. Can I get some free coins, please? Like, any of you guys want to spare a little, a little morsel for this young, struggling entrepreneur? Oh, you can play this for free? Hey, I got a coin. I didn't even have to spend anything. Let's go. I don't remember how this game works, though. One eternity later. There's a three on one of these, and I'm going with... It was next to it! Well, we gave it our best shot, guys. We made some good money. I'm buying the rest. It's over for me. My career is over. <laughs> My Voltor flipping career is in shambles. I got $4,000. Oh, wait, no. 4,000 coins. But at least we got Ice Beam. It's not quite gym time because I still want my Pokemon a little bit higher level. Level 36 means Jaws is evolving. Oh, dude. That sprite is huge. But what is it going to look like? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is it so disgusted? Look, it's literally making that face that I made. Like... Why? I mean, like, come on. It looked cooler before. <laughs> also, do I want to get rid of Ice Fang for Dual Chop? I mean, it's a dragon move. They're always kind of good to have, but I don't know. I guess Ice Fang, we can always come back and get it again. Oh, wait, what the frick? How are you evolving again? Wait, is it because you were Dust Gull, not Dust Clops? Now it's going to be Dust Clops? 
Oh, yeah! Okay. I'm kind of sad because there's a lot of really cool Dust Clops fusions, but I mean, this is pretty sick, too. Yo! He got the third eye. Or wait, no, the one eye. I mean, he's got eyes all over his arms and everything. I don't know. My dude's got a nature that's bad for him, though. Come on. I feel like I should just, like, refuse this. Maybe see if it has a, a better nature. Potentially. Wait, how did I do that? Oh, you can change their sprite from this menu. Yo. But I don't know where to get a Reaper Cloth. If you ring the bell at 3.14 a.m. Where is the bell? Oh, this bell. Nothing happened. Okay, so it has to be 3.14 a.m. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Let me save the game just in case. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did I miss it? <gasps> An entrance appeared in the wall. Yeah! I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out without Reddit, but thank you, Reddit. What do we got inside? Whoa, there's Pokemon in here too? Oh, yo, there's more Duskulls! Nice, that's pretty sick, because Duskull fusions, as we've seen, are pretty awesome. Uh, I guess I'll just Thunder Wave this thing. And we'll just Ultra Ball it! Nice. See, now I don't feel so bad that we evolved our Duskull. We can catch more in here. In fact, we might even catch another one. Yeah, I was thinking we already did this too, Ashley, but there's an item right here, so I guess not. We get the Reaper Cloth, which we can, of course, use to evolve Dusclops to its final, final form. There's literally only Duskulls in here. Okay, well, let me actually just do that right now then, since we have, I believe, wait, wrong button. Yes, Ookie Pookie! <laughs> I forgot we nicknamed it that. Final form unlocked! This is gonna be awesome. It still looks like it's Mega Swamper too. Okay. Looks like that's the only sprite for it too. So there's no like non-Mega version? Or is this not a Mega? Oh yeah, no, there's only that. Huh. I mean, it definitely looks like Mega Swampert, how it's all freaking buff. I love the cry though, that cry is sick. I just wish it had more levels. <laughs> so we could actually make use of it against Giovanni or something, but I don't got I don't got the patience, man.